What's up everybody, it's Shiloh Thompson. I'm a certified licensed athletic trainer as well as a certified strength and conditioning specialist. And today I'm gonna to show you some progressions on how to rehab a hamstring strain. So starting off with isometrics. Um, we like to use isometrics for hamstring strains or really any other muscle strain just because we can stimulate the muscle without taking it through a, a range of motion because some people are still having either limited range of motion or they're still having pain with full range of motion. And right there, and then he will just hold that. Um, we'll hold that starting at 15 seconds and progressing our way to 30 seconds. Next is an isometric exercise. So what Bless is gonna do is he's gonna go into a single leg hip bridge on the injured leg and then he's going to work on driving that heel into the ground. All right, after you do that, the next progression, you're going to move the foot out just a little bit more, not much, but then you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to go into hip extension and then you're going to drive that heel back into the ground. Our next exercise is going to be a dumbbell RDL. I'm going to have Bless show the exercise. One reason we're going to do this is for the eccentric loading of the muscle. We're able to work the hamstrings to a longer length while also working on a little bit of hip extension as well. Next, sticking with eccentric loading, he's gonna bring up both legs uh, into a full leg curl, full range of motion leg curl, and then he's going to remove the one leg and then use the injured leg and slowly release and 